Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn joins us now. Um, it's my understanding, Senator, and it's great to have you with us, as always, that you were there. So what can you share with us? One of the topics of conversation was to look at what type future you would want with AI and what is necessary to make certain that we maximize the benefits and then minimize any adverse effects. And those are the right questions to raise. Um, I will say this, we have been having hearings. We had two hearings yesterday, one in our Commerce Committee hearing at Consumer Protection Data Security, where I'm the top Republican, another at our Judiciary Committee subcommittee hearing. Uh, we have been working on these issues, but I think this today was a nice opportunity for members who are not engaged in the technology issues to begin to come up to speed on AI, what it means, and what the potential and the downfalls are. Senator, let me play devil's advocate a little bit here. I, I get kind of nervous when you get tech billionaires in the same room with a lot of politicians, and they're talking about how they're going to reinvent the world. I see them influencing regulation. I see them maybe getting special deals. And frankly, that concerns me. Am I wrong on that or is there a risk of that here? Each of the companies just laid out what they were doing uh, with AI, how they were utilizing it. And you know, Brian, I think we have to keep in mind for industries like healthcare and logistics and financial services that you've got some great benefits that will come from artificial intelligence. You have tremendous concerns when you look at journalism, entertainment, songwriters, singers, performers, authors, publishers. There are tremendous concerns around facial recognition, which is a form of AI, and how the Chinese Communist Party is using that to surveil the Uyghurs or how the Iranians are using it to surveil women. So. Having these different individuals in there today, to hear them talk about they think government has a role to play, that was, I, I think it was instructive. I do wish it had been something that was an open forum mm -hmm. so the entire country could hear this. And as we have worked on this issue over um, all these emerging technologies for years now, one of the things we continue to hear is we need a national online privacy standard so that online consumers can protect what I call their virtual you, which is them and their presence online. Senator, uh, couldn't agree with you more on privacy issues. I hope that is one of the big things that comes out of this. Thank you so yes. much for giving us an inside look at something I agree with you should have been a little more open, but that's not my decision. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Senator.